Let's start praising the Lord. Let's start praising the Lord. Lebozina mashanda kazona. Lekezi kebo shike lebozina kazona. In Jesus' name. This session, we're going to be praying about protection. We need protection from everything. Scripture says in... I'm sorry. Scripture says in um, Psalm 46 verse 1, it says, God, you are such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You are a proven help in time of trouble, more than enough, and always available whenever I need you. Scripture says that he is a safe and powerful place, and that gives us the right to ask for protection. So I want us to give God praise this morning and say, God, I thank you because you are my safe place. I thank you because you are my powerful place. In you, I find refuge in the name of Jesus. I thank you for being my safe place. I thank you for being my powerful place. I thank you because I find refuge in you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The thing is that protection, you can ask for protection from everything. From health, from your going out, coming in, whatever it is. But I want us to remember that God's promise of protection, you know, the truth is that it's very possible for God to give you a way of escape. But out of your ignorance, you don't, you know, you don't see it. You know, scripture says in Psalm, um, it says in Proverbs 2, um, 2, 11, it said discretion will protect you and understanding will guide you. The Lord can tell you not to step into a store today. But are you listening? I want you to pray. I call for the discretion of the Most High God. I call for the understanding of God to secure me in the name of Jesus. Let's pray according to Proverbs 2, 11. Lord God, let your discretion preserve me in the name of Jesus. The grace, the grace to hear him speak. I call it forth in Jesus' name for our children, O oh God, for ourselves, O oh God. I declare that the discretion I need to preserve me is released unto me. The understanding I need that puts me in a place of instruction in the name of Jesus is released unto me. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Psalm 138 verse 7. He says, though I walk in the midst of trouble, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, so I don't care what the world is saying. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hands against the wrath of my enemies. And your right hand has delivered me. I want you to start to declare that my life is preserved. My family is preserved. Even in this economy downpour, even when there's COVID and monkeypox, even when cancer is showing up left, right, and center. Even when accidents are taking place, uh, in your going out and in your coming in, uh, I stand on the word of God in Psalm 138 verse 7 uh, and I declare that my life and my family's life is preserved. In the midst of trouble, we are preserved. In the name of Jesus, uh, when our children go to school, uh, they are preserved. In the name of Jesus, uh, in the midst of evil, our children and ourselves, we are preserved. Our families are preserved. Lebozina Mashanda. We declare, like as came, we are delivered from the wrath of the enemy. Whatever the wrath of the enemy is, Lebozina Mashanda. We stand on the word of God. Our the walls of our homes are preserved in the name of Jesus. Stray bullets cannot enter my walls in the name of Jesus. Nothing breaks through my walls in the name of Jesus. Mazile Boshanda Kazona. No power in hell is permitted to enter my home in the name of Jesus. Our schools are secure. In the name of Jesus, our stores are secured. In the name of Jesus, Mazile Bosonde Sikem, Lekezike Boshinda Kazon. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You know, the Holy Spirit said, as we pray, we should enter his rest. It is done in the name of Jesus. Mazina Mashonde Sikem. Scripture says in Psalm 18, verse 18, it says, When I was at my weakest, my enemies attacked. But the Lord held on to me. Then Matthew 13, 25 says, But while everyone was sleeping, <laughs> while everyone was sleeping, when you're not paying attention, it says the enemies came 
they sowed tears, they sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. It's possible for us to have a weak moment. It happens to everybody. I want you to declare that my household and I, we are secured from every tear. Be it a generational tear. Be it a non-generational tear. Be it a tear that I use my hand to, to create. I stand on the word of God and I declare that while we are sleeping, any tear that has been planted in the past, I declare gone in Jesus' name and moving forward, no tear can be planted in my home, planted in my life or my children or my husband in Jesus' name. We stand on God's word. Anywhere restoration center has slept, we declare we uproot every tear in the name of Jesus. Even at our weakest, weakest moment, Lord God, you stand. Lord God, your love secures us in the name of Jesus. Lebozina mashonde sike, lebozika la bashanda kazona, reke zike bo shika la basona, rebozina mashanda kazina. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You know, read Psalm ninety-one in different translation, but you know the truth is that this is not. There will be no arrow that will fly. The arrow flies during the day and it flies at night. This is not the matter of it will not fly. It will definitely fly. But, but scripture says we should not fear. You know why he said we should not fear? Read different trans. He said because his faithful arms, his faithful arms are wrapped around me. His faithful arms are wrapped around me. So I want you to stand on the word of God and declare that because of the faithful arms of the Lord, the arrows that fly during the day cannot touch my household and I in Jesus name because of his faithful arms I declare that the arrows that fly at night cannot touch us those arrows waiting at work they are nullified in Jesus name the arrows waiting in the schools they are nullified in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen you know as we prayed I saw a picture and it was like I don't know how to describe it but it was as if somebody just enveloped the schools it was as if it was like like an angel it just like it was just lying on top of the schools I want us to start to declare right now that our schools are secured in Jesus name you know listen to something we are going to pray a prayer of agreement today for our children. Any school our children are going to, evil cannot take place. We declare the schools on lockdown by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I declare that police officers are not the ones guiding the schools. The Bible, the word of God says angels, God, he sent his angels ahead of us. We declare that the angels will guide the entrances, oh God. I declare all schools are safe in Jesus' name. Restoration Center has come to stand and to declare the word of God. We declare our schools are safe in the name of Jesus. We cannot weep over any child in the name of Jesus. We will not sow and not reap in the name of Jesus. Our children will not be snatched from us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm sorry, and I'm not supposed to speak your right. But what I keep hearing in my spirit, he says, Allah God Fire is released upon us in the name of Jesus. And finally, yes, I'm running out of time. Finally, I'm just going to praise Zechariah 1 18 to 21 quickly. He says, I looked up and I was surprised by another vision, four horns. I asked the messenger angel, and what's the meaning of this? He said, these are the powers that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem abroad. In after that, God expanded the vision to include four blacksmiths. They are released for us today in Jesus' name. I asked, what are these? He said, and what are these, said, and what are these all about? He said, since the horns have scattered Judah so badly that no one has any hope left, that is in the season of insecurity. He said, this blacksmith 
have arrived to come back to the horns. In the name of Jesus, God, we raise up our hands in prayer. We declare that this blacksmith has released this afternoon in Jesus' name. Look God, they combat every power of hell working against our security in the name of Jesus. Every power in hell working against our security is done. Let us in that there is horned today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.